So these are questions, Ian, from the local grade four and five kids from North River Elementary. And in no particular order, I'm going to ask you these questions. Did you have a dog back then? No. That was easy. <laughs> did you use ink back then? <laughs> did you what? Use ink, like in a pen. Did you use ink back then? <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> what did it sound like when you were fighting in the war? Uh, you, well, everything was, it was uh, sort of a chaos thing. And there's noise all around. Did you get any sleep during the war? Sometimes you wonder, because you're on the go or you're not on the go. You might get a chance to snooze, maybe not. Spencer wants to know, how was it without no TV? <laughs> we didn't have time for TV. Ava wants to know what you ate during the war. Whatever was edible. And you know, there's one thing I think I remember uh, I had a can of bully beef. I don't know where it came from, but I had it in my small pack. I never got my small pack back. So I expect somebody got a can of bully beef. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from Jack. He says, thank you. You were 94. You should have fun and live on and on. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice of Jack. And he's got some hearts here for you, Ian, too. Oh, got yeah. Five hearts. <laughs> Here's one from Victoria. How did you feel fighting for your country and the ones that you love? You, you hardly ever think of something like that when you're, you're too busy protecting yourself and whoever's around you. You're not thinking of a lot of back home. Emma wants to know, and this is a fair question, Emma says, were you scared when you had to leave and go to fight? <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> you couldn't let that stop you. Olivia asks, what did you feel like when the war was happening, but how did you feel when people around you died in order to save other people? You, you, don't, you don't dwell on that. Right. You look for the better side of everything. So. <laughs>